welcome back. The Mid-Eastern Conference title on the line. John T. Hoggart, Vikings, visiting Brogdon Hall and Gaddison Court to face the New Hanover Wildcats. Both teams coming in at 12-1 in the conference. Hoggart at 19-4 overall. Hanover at 17-5. It's going to be a good one. I'm joined by Webb Guthrie. How you doing, Coach? Hey, Don. Good to be here. Uh, you just said it. It should be a good one tonight. We've got a game with first place in a championship in the regular season on the line here. Lots of pressure, some really good matchups in this game. Both teams and coaches obviously know each other very well. Should have a good rivalry and a fun game here tonight. And last time out, these teams played to a overtime 57-54 win for the Wildcats. And the Wildcats had McCott, were led by Makai Stanley, Malik Myers, D. Barnett, and A.D. Driver. Barnett, Driver, and Stanley with 11, and Double M, Malik, Malik Myers with 10. And Hoggart, during that night, was led by Brady Rankin with 22. He had 10 points in the fourth quarter. You know, but they had a chance. They had a chance to win it. They had Jackson Massey a chance to tie it up. And they also had a chance at regulation. In regulation, right? Uh, Hedera was at the foul line, I believe. Exactly. Hit, hit one and missed the other one. Yep. Yeah, some fun matchups. I'm excited to watch it. You know, you got some good guard matchups. Malik uh, Myers will probably be on Brady Rankin. You've got D. Barnett will probably guard Sebastian Hedera. Fun matchup in the post. You've got uh, Chris Gibbs and uh, trying to guard Adam Driver and Jones, the freshman kid. Should be some fun matchups to watch. You also got Makai Stanley and uh, Jackson Massey going at it. So really fun matchups all around tonight. Yeah, Makai coming off a good night. The other night had 19 against a huge victory to avenge the loss here at home and they beat West Brunswick 79-78. Tonight is senior night. And starting for Coach Brett Queen, number two, Cam Planks. The senior and number three junior Brady Rankin and number five Sebastian Hedera senior guard and down low is number 30 Chris Gibbs and rounding out the starting lineup for coach Queen will be number 33 senior forward Jackson Massey his uh, sister had a good ball game earlier in the girls game you see what Jackson can put together one tonight Coach Queen, you know, has to, has to be telling his guys, you know, this is huge, this is a big game, but he's got a lot of experience on the court, especially in that trio of Massey, uh, Cam Blanks, Hedera. They, 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 those kids have all been in this game. Hedera's been getting time in this game since he was a freshman. Massey as well. Yeah, lots of experience. And, you know, there's no secret. They know Hanover's going to come out and try to provide pressure. They know how to handle it. They know how to play in the half court. To me, for them, I really starred Cameron Blanks. I think him handling the ball tonight and really limiting turnovers and keeping them low will be huge advantage Hoggard if they can do it. Yeah, and that's the pressure that he's going to be put under. He's going to need some help as the Hanover's going to run at least 10 guys at you in the starters for Hanover. Seniors, number one, Scotty Deffenball. Senior, number three, Jaheim Marshall. Senior, number four, Makai Stanley just committing to Western Carolina to play football, and they're joined by sophomore D. Barnett and sophomore A.D. Driver. I think you'll see Massey on Stanley. That'll be a fun matchup early, Don. Uh, Massey, a really smart defensive player, does a lot of things that don't show up in the stats, but how well he can keep Stanley under control will be a big key as well. And he's also got about five or six inches on Stanley. Uh, yeah, he does. Stanley's got some size, some broad shoulders, but uh, Jackson Maskey's a good little athlete himself. And the man with the ball who will initiate our tap, Mr. David Fallon. And he's joined by the man across the, by the scores table, Mr. Andy Ramp. And on the other side of the court, Mr. Wayne Merritt. Massey gets Hoggard the tap. Man to man for the Wildcats. Marshall on flanks. There, bumped by D. Barnett. 
And Hedera's going to have his hands full tonight on, because D. Barnett's strong and he's going to be in his jersey. Yeah, he, you'll see him on him most tonight. I think uh, after the senior sub out, you'll see Malik Myers on Rankin as well. Two really tough defenders get in you. Not going to go by him very easily. And there's the forced turnover. Gibbs had a cutting Adara, and D. Barnett was denying. And that's the first of Hogger's turnover tonight. Kai Stanley looked like Mas Massey might have got a piece of that. Stanley finds Deffen Ball. Deffen Ball sees Stanley good underneath. Good luck. Good luck. Way to keep his head up there. Good luck. Stanley with the finish there. Rankin right away the other side. Brady aggressively to the hole. Driver down low against Gibbs, one of your keys to the matchup. Good double by Blanks. Deffenball gets a good look. Board it and this to Jaheim Marshall for two. That's a, that's a nice athletic play. You know, Barnett gets the board and was able to just get a quick little touch pass. And Jaheim picks up his first, team's first. Gibbs wants some help. Brady Rankin running through some picks. Good catch and shoot by Good Brady Rankin. There. Good luck there. You know, that's Brady's game. They're going to run him off screens or dribble handoffs all game just to get him the ball in spacing. Really has improved. Nice quick release there from him. And everyone needs to be patient. Be patient. Set up and get what you want here. Makai puts it in Jackson Massey's eye. They'll take that. You know, when Stanley's outside shot is on, it makes him really difficult to guard. Because then you got to come out, and he also has that speed and quickness and strength to go by you. Tries to rip the ball from Gibbs. Look for Hager to be patient here. Rankin, he's fouled. Who's the foul going to go on Driver? That's his first team second. Rankin being who Hoggard wants at the foul line. I believe he's about, what, 92, 93% yeah, from there? Brady's at 92. And he misses the first one. Just when I say that. He doesn't miss many from there. Not at all. Most successful free throw shooters for Hoggard. Knocks down the second one. Gibbs is going to be substituted for Luke Lamport. Number 15, the 6'4 senior. D. Barnett brings the ball up the court. Hoggart still in the man. Kai left alone. You can't give him that yeah, time. And I, and I don't think they want to switch. Uh, you know, the, look for Hogger to switch that. I don't see Massey doesn't need to switch screens. He needs to stay on him. You can't give Makai a good chance to get his feet set. Kind of rocks back and just pops. And the foul's gonna be on the floor. That's on Jaheim Marshall. That's second, team's third. Up off the bench for the Wildcats, number 24, J.J. Jones. The freshman. And he's asked to cover Pass. Rankin, and Rankin, Rankin worked him on a cut. He backdoor cut him, and he tried to deny the pass. But, you know, smart play by the Hoggard offense. Yeah, very smart play. You know, the good thing about just ranking, he's a kid that's always moving. Good things happen when you're always moving without the basketball. And Brady knocks this one over. Another miss. Yeah. 
Yeah. Look for Hannah. We go right back to that look. Yep. Pull up by D. Barnett. Rebounded by Blanks. Steffen ball on Rankin. Steffen ball tries to get to Charla. Interesting matchup there. You've got Jones, the freshman, post guarding Hedera right now. Hedera's making him run all around the court, too. Rankin swatted away by AD Driver. Steffen ball, he comes away, he'll slow it up. They look inside the driver. He's got Hedera on his back. Got to send help. Got to send help. Massey with the backside board. Yeah, that's definitely a mismatch. Six foot Hedera on the 6'5". Yeah, he's either, he's either got to front him down there and fight over or send help one of the two. Good kick out there by Hedera. Open shot. Boarded by driver. Barnett going to play a little two-man game with Makai. You got Blanks guarding Jones. I'd like to go inside there. Kick it one more. You got a mismatch there. Driver drives baseline. D. Barnett's off. Stephen Ball with the rebound. The foul. And can't get the roll. Looks like he was fouled by Lamport. I know Queen's not going to be happy with that. You missed, missed the box out there. Just little things. Good possession defensively. You got to finish it with a box out and grab that rebound. Sophomore. And I got a correction on. I think Jones is actually a sophomore. That's James Jones, Don. Yes. Been yeah. listed as a freshman all year. Yes, that's what I I saw on the roster <laughs> on Max Preps. Deffen ball. Gets one of two. Hannah gets a crowd into it, looking for some defense. Stolen by Jones. He's going to flush this one. Nope. Lamport does a good job of Makai Stanley picking up the garbage. And Makai. Bad turnover there by Hoggard. You know, that's the possession in the half court. They want to slow down and play their style. Be patient. Get what you want. And Makai now has 10. Hesitation. And Makai gets fouled on the drive. Oh, Fouls on Blanks. Rankin Gibbs returned along with number 21, Jacob Fisher. The baby hook by driver, backside rebound, Fisher. Kai took the loose ball under two minutes. Quick shot. Nobody under. Auger needs a good possession right here. Adair is playing hard, but really forced a couple of the last, last two possessions. Slow down and get into your style. Get something good here. Rankin. Oh, on an off-balance shot, Brady Rankin cans it. Got the shooter they wanted off the screen, a little off balance, but it, it went in. Brady Rankin now with 11. He and Makai Stanley lead their teams. Makai gets another look. Rebound again by Fisher. Under a minute to play.
Adair trying to get started. Back iron, rebound Makai Stanley. Wildcats on a slow break. Skip pass across to Jones. Aldridge thinks about it. Inside the driver. Good post position. Can't get that baby hook to fall. Good rebound by Gibbs. Way to go up two hands and two feet. And you've been right about the battle down low between Driver and Gibbs. Yeah, I like it early. Good, good first quarter by both of them. Size-wise, really good matchup. Hoggart trying to settle for the final shot of the first quarter. Inside the Lamport, cutting his ranking, but stolen by Makai Stanley. Get the ball to D. Barnett. D. Barnett gets a three off, back iron. And Jones tries to get the rebound, but the buzzer sends it just into the end of the first quarter. The Wildcats lead 13 to 10 behind 10 points by Makai Stanley, or excuse me, 13 to 11, and a big, big 11 points. Uh, only person on the board for Hoggard. We're going to thank a sponsor. We'll be back in the second quarter. Tonight's sponsor is Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Don't go away. We'll be right back. So how was work? It was 1,300 hours. My math class from 302 was in the trenches. Davy Roth had it the worst. Fractions were coming at him left and right. He just didn't get the damn things. Two days ago, I tried to teach him what one-fourth of one-half was using different sizes of blocks. Yesterday, I tried again by dividing a pizza. Both missions failed. Oh, no. But today, I was ready. I created a combat math game where the only way to beat the enemy is to outfraction them. Davy conquered every last denominator. My game was so successful, hmm. the principal is deploying it to math squadrons all over the school. Anywho, how was your day? Oh, uh, today my boss treated the office to salad wraps. Hmm, <laughs> salad wraps. I know. <laughs> One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, you, yes. your football buddy, your football buddy, you, the boss, the boss's boss. If one in three adults has pre-diabetes, that means it could be you, your barber, your barber's barber. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. You. Your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker. On your left. Your cat jogger. Or you, your co-pilot. Your co-pilot's co-pilot. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org to know where you stand. And Hoggart trails by two. And all the points are scored by junior guard number three, Brady Rankin, for the Vikings. And Hanover led by senior number four, Makai Stanley. He has 10. And so far, the, the supporting casts have been kind of quiet. Yeah, you know, I, I said earlier, Pre-game, all the pressure's on for a championship. The stars are out. You've got Brady Rankin has all the points right now. You've got Makai Stanley really playing very well early with 10 himself. Um, just a few things. I think you'll see more. I think you'll see Hoggard slow down there. There's a few possessions that I know Queen didn't like. Um, also, they want to get Hedera going. He's got to have a good game tonight for them to stay in it as well. And the Wildcats come out with Quentin Waddell, Quintel Waddell. D. Barnett, Jane, J.J. Jones, J Khalil Jenright. And, and you know, advantage Hanover, I think they've went about 11, 12 deep already in this game in their lineup. But we haven't seen Malik Myers. No, I was looking at that. Rare that, rare that he's not in when he, he plays most of the game usually. Yeah, I see him at the end of the bench. Still with his shooting shirt on. Again, you know, Brady Rankin having all the points. Malik Myers is who I thought would be on him, their best defender. 
Again, you see Brady having a good quarter without him on him. And Brady Rankin shoots two, connects on the first. In and out, that's Brady's third miss of the night. Three for six. And Waddell handles. Stanley squares his feet. Splash. Makai Stanley's best of his season average of 12. He's got 13. You know, he's got three of those early. If he's going to consistently make that, Hogger's going to have to change up how they're guarding him. Cat Faithful trying to get their team hyped on the defensive side. Fisher looking at Massey back up top to Gibbs. Brady Good Rankin. back door. Good back door. Good reverse. And a reverse layup by Rankin. Gets him 14. D. Barnett creates some contact. No call made. Myers just went to the locker room. You know, you look at Hanover's lineup, what helps St Stanley so much is if you just deny him, you create driving lanes for D. Barnett, Yuri Marshall, fast guards. You know, they help Stanley a lot be open for those threes. Yeah, he's you know, we have a foul <laughs> on Blanks. Second foul, only the third team foul. Hedera steps in for Blanks. Hedera for me is big. He's got to come strong and have a big game. He's playing hard, just a few shots haven't went in that have been open. Usually shots he easily makes. Coach Queen's given Mr. Merritt an ear full. Jones for three. I don't like that shot. There's no one under. Rankin with the pull up. Ball kept alive. Rankin. Good hustle there by Rankin to follow it. Rankin with the loose ball pickup and gets himself his 16th point. And you were talking about stars coming out tonight. We also hey. had Garrett Walston walk by our Blake Walston, sorry, walked by over at the end of the stage in your corner, top of your screen. First round pick. And there's some first round action right there. D. Barnett with a hoop in the harm. That was Sebastian Hedera picking up the foul. And D. Barnett, sophomore, shooting 68% from the free throw line. And we're maintaining the four-point lead. Barnett converts a traditional three. He has five. Good D by Khalil Jenright, but we have a foul way away from the basketball. It's going to be Quintel Waddell with a block trying to impede Brady Rankin's pro progress. You know, to me right now, it's interesting. With Brady with all 16, I don't know if I don't switch and put D. Barnett on Brady Rankin. And they're off the inbounds. Yeah, let's definitely switch it up. I mean, I like to see. You know, I, I, without, without Malik in the game, I don't, I'd switch it up and put D on him. Show him something different. Put your more physical athlete, defender on him quicker. You know, he's hot right now. When somebody's hot, show him a different look. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. He sticks with Hedera, and they still have, still have Waddell. Then right on Massey. Fisher guarded by Jones. And a little bump by Jones. That 
was actually Jen Wright they give the foul to. And I thought it was 24 that was guarding yeah. Massey. Let's see if Massey can step to the line and put points on the board for somebody other than Brady Rankin here. And Jackson Massey, 64%. And just in from <coughs> Empower Your Game at Ashley High School, the Laney girls fall to Ashley in overtime. Overtime, huh? Good game. And so that solidifies Laney win, Hoggart win. Hoggart will be the three seed. And excuse me, it'll be a toss up the seat between uh, Laney and Hoggart to see who gets the, the two seed. On that Hanover bucket, that was who? Uh, Devendorf. Devendorf. Uh, Scotty D. Scotty, yeah. All right, Scotty D. Nice, from uh, three. Nice, nice quick release. Caught it in the corner, ready to shoot, knocked it down. Jones with the board. He's got Makai up ahead. He's got Jen Wright running with him. Makai with the finish. Kai Stanley with 15. Hager really needs to settle down and get a good possession here. And you see the switch. You see D. Barnett went to uh, Brady Rankin, just like I said, yes, Don. It is. Good switch. Stephen Ball, Garden Hedera, Jacob Fisher takes Khalil Jenright to the hole. Fisher. Good basket they needed there to kind of quiet it down, get it within six. Barnett hangs in the air and gets the roll. The seven, number 11. You know, their, their first time out, you know, Hoggart lost a 15 point, or Hanover lost a 15 point lead to Hoggart. That was in the second half, the right? Second half. And the basket's good. D. Barnett flexes. And Barnett. With nine, a chance to go to double figures. AD Driver returning, number 34. Taking advantage of the Browsing Hall home crowd. Barnett set to shoot, 68% from the line. Barnett, he's got 10. They call him D-Dimes. Good cut by Rankin, Aaron Pass. Oh, you're just out of sync right now. Offense, a lot of, lot of Brady Rankin trying, moving around and trying to get the ball to him. Got to get somebody else to get going. Nobody else is going right now. you got, you know, the post guarded, Gibbs guarded, Massey guarded. Hedera's missed a few open shots. Hedera to me is a key. He's got to get going. Give them somebody else offensively. Really settle down. Good sign for Hanover. D. Barnett getting going. Jackson ball with the ball fake. Gets open for three. Driver with the rebound, but Massey has grabbed him on the floor. Seven team foul for the Vikings. Puts thought that was going to be in the bonus. Makai Stanley, 18 points on four or five from three point land. 14 point lead that trying to maintain a six point lead had doubled itself here in the last two minutes. Barnett with the steal, has Deffenball up, run inside, there's the kick, Deffenball with the hoop, and the harm. Scotty D coming alive, he's got five. What Hanover thrives off of, turnovers and easy opportunities. You're going to turn it over. You've got to get back in defensive transition quick. 
Scotty D on the line, 50%. Scotty's been a great spark plug for them this half, too. Provided some good offense, playing hard. And we have the score, scoreboard issue. Number 30, Taekwon Williams into the ball game for the Wildcats. It should be two more points. It should be 38. Because the basket was good. Yeah, it's 38. They'll get it straight here, I think. I have to tell the Wildcat fans I see somebody broke out a set of keys and was shaking them at it. It's a little early for that one. Yeah, we had that in the last matchup with them, right? Yeah, Big lead at halftime, and Hoggard came roaring back. So It was a 19-2 second quarter that gave Hanover big that lead, big right lead. There. For some reason, we don't. We, there's no basket. You know, you talk about going deep. You look at Hanover's bench. Every player has been in this game so far, except Malik Myers. Except Malik Myers, who is currently not sitting on the bench over there. I don't know if it was a discipline issue or. Or what, but the sophomore Myers, large contributor, not on the bench, and there's Wildcats, 17 point lead under a minute. No travel call? It's a travel. It's got to be a travel call. And there's a timeout called on the court, 30 second timeout. And I believe Deffenball made the call. And smart play. Yeah, smart, play. smart play. Got away with the travel call there. And if anything, now I think that's what that's what coaches complain about now. Because as soon as he slides across yeah. the court with that with the ball in his chest, it, it, it steps. It's a travel, yeah. The issue is you're not getting the call back. You gotta settle down, coach your kids, and figure out out of this timeout. Yeah, it's not going back. We're not going to replay here. Nah. Tyquan Williams will inbounds. <laughs> Griffin ball guarded by Blanks. Jones trying to get free. Griffin ball for three. Splash. He's had a really strong half for them. Well, Scotty D coming up big with nine points here in the second quarter. Four minutes ago, we were talking about a four to six point ball game. Here we are, 20 point lead. And the block by Williams up ahead to James Jones. James Jones with the finger roll, can't get the fall. Driver with the rebound. Tapped, kept alive, knocked out. Rankin will have a chance, but can't get it off. Wildcats go up 20 points in the, the second quarter. Got to get the kids off the court and get the boys to the locker room. Big time basketball being played here at Brogdon Hall, Webb. We're going to thank a sponsor. We're going to be back with the second half right after this. Tonight's broadcast is made possible with the support of Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza. Behind 18 from Makai Stanley and a big second quarter of nine, Scotty Deffenball, the Wildcats go into half with a 20-point lead. Because of you, I felt hopeless. Because you said rude things about my work, I started to question my own voice. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. 
Because of your negative comments online, I've almost quit doing the one thing that makes me happiest in life. Because you shared something about me that was private, I felt embarrassed. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was gonna be okay. Because of you sharing your story with me, I feel comfortable sharing my own. Because you were there when I was coming out, you helped me regain my confidence. I'm still here today because of you. Awkward. I'm the awkward silence. You try to avoid me, then there I am again. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. Like Kelly here is about to demonstrate. You haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at seizetheawkward.org. Your son wants to get a cat, I'll really take care of but you're allergic. Do you A, prepare yourself, B, make the best of it. C squared equals... 25. Good job! Or C, find a loophole. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back. Gaddison Court at Brogdon Hall. I'm Don Ostrom, joined by Webb Guthrie. And Webb, we got a 20-point ball game with the Wildcats coming out huge in the second quarter behind 18 from Akai Stanley, 10 from D. Barnett, and a big nine-point second quarter from Scotty Deffenball. Yeah, Hanover was huge. I think they had a 27-9 second quarter. Right now the first half they're shooting 60% from three. 52% total from the field goal range. A lot of good things going their way. I thought Scotty Deffenball was a huge plus to them. You know, I knew D. Barnett and Stanley were gonna bring it. Steffenball was that third player that really stepped up huge for them. On the flip side of that, Hoggard really had one player, Brady Rankin. Yes. And didn't have a lot of help past that. They gotta have a lot more from somebody to get back in this game. Yeah, they've got 16 from Brady Rankin and then just two from Hedera and two from Fisher. And Hanover finished on a 14-0 run. And the Wildcats looking to cement a Mid-Eastern Conference regular season title. Feel like they have to get some av avenge last year's uh, tough season. Yeah, you know, interesting to see what Hogger team comes out on the floor here. I thought they had about four or five just unforced turnovers that really just got them out of sync offensively. Well, Massey, Blanks, Rankin, Fisher, Hedera for the Vikes. Barnett, Stanley, Driver, Jones, and Deffenball for the Wildcats. And I actually like having Jones on Rankin. If he's going to come off screens, I like a long, lengthy defender to get around that. Fisher gets a good look. Deffenball is able to... Deffenball is able to get up there and get Massey deflected, but then Barnett goes to the floor with Hedera. And... The How'd they call the foul on Jackson Massey? It was Hedera and... Yeah, I'm a little confused at that, too. Yeah. I know the Hoggard bench was. Yeah, they call that on, on Massey. They give Massey his second foul. Team's first here in the second. If you're Hanover here up 20, be patient. Be patient, get good offense. Try to get a little set with the Jones alley-oop on the first play down in the second quarter. The foul on Blanks, and that's going to be his third. You know, Blanks, I had as the X factor. And, he really didn't play a lot and, that second quarter. And Coach Queen's asking right now, how is the foul on Massey it, over here? And Jones will shoot two. Jones only 43% from the free throw line. In and out.
And then they're, they're, the correction here, I mean, Chris Chris Manning, my partner in the, in the girls' game, is correcting him. It, is, it was definitely, the foul was definitely on Hedera, if you're going to call it, go two players going after the basketball. It was definitely not on Massey. Coach Queen is adamant about protesting his case, and I, I agree. And he's right. You know, it, it, it hits you a little harder when you're down 20 making that case as well. And Jones can't get either free throw to go. They are guarded by doing? Stanley. Fisher. Adair gets a good look. Knocks good it look. home. I like seeing them go in the post. You know, that's the one piece really missing a lot with Hogger. They don't go down there a lot. And they're going to have to. Stanley is fronted by Hedera. Good for Hedera. He, Hedera's got to get going. He's got to be that second player for them, especially with Hanover having three big scorers right now. And Stanley. Blanks finds Fisher. They got good luck in. Just not enough Still lead for him. Yeah. Driver backs himself in, gets the roll. Move. And that's Driver's first two points. Blanks against Jones. Kick to Fisher. Fisher steps behind the three. Ball knocked out of bounds off of D. Barnett. Hedera short. Senior Deffen ball. Having a nice senior night. D. Barnett guarded by Brady Rankin. Barnett rises. Good take there by D. Just patience, getting to the basket, powering in for the layup. And he's got 12, Rankin. <laughs> And the steps. Twenty-one point lead. Just about three minutes going by. So far, it's four to three this quarter. Driver with the big rebound and the putback. They're trying to create. Deffen ball strips him. And it's going to stay Viking basketball. Hoggart ball under their basket. Got to get it in. Good curl there by Hader. Ah, no finish. Good curl there to the basket. Just got to finish it. Definitely off night offensively for the Vikings. I mean, Brady Rankin got hot early, but hasn't been able to get started here in the second half. Euro step with the kick to driver. Hedera is going to come the other way. Good hustle D by Jones. I mean, Jones clear, fully laid out to deflect that pass. Yeah, yeah, he sure did. He's an athlete. You see the arm span on him. His hand goes about to his knee just hanging. 
Again, that's why I liked him being on ranking as well with that switch up. You put a, a lengthy defender to fight around screens. D Dime stripped of the ball, kicked to Rankin. Rankin really not able to get his feet set, but good job by Massey. Good put finish it, there. Yes, Massey put Stanley on his back and gets his first points of the night. A lot of Hoggard players, I see them keep looking up at the score clock. You got to forget about that right now and just win this four minutes. Barnett. From the elbow, knocks it home. He's got 14. Hanover still shooting hot. Fisher with a good look from the baseline. Another backside rebound for Driver. Five minutes going by, multiple subs at the scorer's table. Steffen ball for three. Back iron, Maxey with the rebound. Good to see Massey get aggressive. Haven't really run Brady Rankin off of any picks yet. There's reach. Steffen ball. That's his second. Team's first. Quintel Waddell, number 14. Number 22, Khalil Jenright. And number three, Jaheim Marshall enter the ball game for the Wildcats. And Chris Gibbs, number 30, comes in for the Vikings. Again, trouble getting it in, five and they call the five. And just a, Coach Queen's posture, if you can see it across the, across the screen, definitely can tell he's not happy. Yeah, very uncharacteristic of Hogger there, just out of sync. You see it on the kids' faces, too. Their energy is just not what it needed to start in this second half. A little weave up top for the Wildcats. Quintel Waddell. He shed the uh, long sleeve he had on earlier. Good cut and the finish. Waddell on the scoreboard with two. 25 point ball game. Adara for three. Off the backboard. Rebounded by Gibbs. Gibbs gets his first basket. Yeah, their last two baskets, both their bigs, Massey and Gibbs, right? Maybe that'll open up some out, outside play. Step back by Quintel Waddell. And a foul on the rebound. And that's, that's Blanks. And that's his fourth. And the team second. Stanley and D. Barnett getting a rest. Sophomore Josh Aldrich into the ball game. Driver at the high post. I believe Josh's older brother Jeremy is at uh, USC Upstate. Yeah, you, he's had a pretty good year there, I believe. I saw a few. Twitter post by him. Um, really, really good kid, Josh Aldridge. Hard worker, good skilled basketball player, good academic kid. Aldridge with a good look. Right there. Ranking baseline. Up and under. Can't get it to go under 40 seconds. See the crowd here chanting overrated, Hanover faithful. Well, they have, Hanover's definitely making a statement right now. Oh, they've outplayed them in his three quarters completely. Everything's going their way. Hoggers really had no answers for a lot of things. Fisher tries to wrap it around. Aldridge saves it. Good hustle by Jen Wright.
Franks up to Fisher. He's ranking running with him. And the foul on Jaheim Marshall. Crowd doesn't like the call. Jacob Fisher will go to the line. Jacob's got two points tonight. He's 72% from the free throw line. Lamport and Williams set to check in. 15, Lamport, number 30, Williams. 2.8 to go. Fisher converts the first. Hanover should get a heave, but he misses the free throw. Aldrich up to, it's good if it goes. Just short. And we go to a 50 to 28 at the end of three. And that's still a 10-8 quarter. Yeah, 10-8 quarter, still advantage Hanover. A quarter, Hoggard really needed to win and cut that lead some. Didn't happen. They go in starting the fourth quarter down 22 points here, 50-28. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything can happen in a high school basketball game. A, lot, a lot's got to happen for Hoggard for it to happen, though, Don. Certainly will. And Hanover, I believe they are going to tighten the vice and try to walk away with the regular season championship. We'll be back with the fourth quarter finish. Tonight's broadcast is made possible with the support of Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. We'll be right back. Touchdown! Oh, oh. Did you see that? Whoa, 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 we scored? Yeah, we scored. We're going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. Okay, you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm going to need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! Dora knows better than anyone. The best place to explore is the forest. Boots! <gasps> she knows this monkey? Of course she knows this monkey. Experience nature. Let's go. Connect with family. I love you guys. And find your own adventure in a forest or park near you. Let's do this. Come on, Boots. Uh -oh. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. Hello. Hi. I'm from Blue Hill Stone Barns. We brought a meal for you and I'm here to serve it to you. Okay, great. Come in. Zucchini carbonara, made from zucchini that was harvested earlier this morning. Again? Oh. <laughs> hey, Dan Barber. You have room for a little bit more? <laughs> come yeah, on come in. Come on in. Brochettes, the sausage. So when we made that zucchini carbonara, you know, they're the end piece of the zucchini, and they're the cores that we cut away. Not to mention zucchini flour. Usually those get thrown out. We use them to create an entire second dish. Does that, oh. Again? <laughs> I'm here to bring you your third course. It's the vines from your zucchini. We'll have a little zucchini stem pasta. A different experience of zucchini. When we start to think differently about our food, we can get a lot more out of it. This is delicious. What do you think we can make out of this? 40% of food in America has never eaten. Cook it, store it, share it. Visit savethefood.com. Welcome back. Wildcats with a 22-point lead. And Hoggard just unable to get any offense really going. You know, they lost 10 to 8 there. Um, you know, Makai Stanley didn't score in the third quarter. You know, the main buckets by D. Barnett and AD Driver had a big four points. And Jones trying to force a pass inside. Wildcats come out with Stanley, Barnett, Diffenball, Jones, and Driver. Hoggart, Hedera, Rankin, Fisher, Gibbs, and Lamport. Good dish there. Ball rebounded by Chris Gibbs. Been impressed with Driver tonight. When he gets those dishes from Barnett down low, he's really patient with it. 
doesn't force, has pretty good footwork. He's very under control. Yeah, doesn't force it, lets it come to him. He knows the spacing he has and he uses it. it plays, plays well, for, very composed for a sophomore. Steffen ball, he's fouled, and the basket, he's got 12 points, a chance for the traditional three. You look Gibbs. down there at the Hoggard bench right now, that kind of just says it all. Just very flat, no energy, watching that happen. Deffen ball. Converts. He's got 13. Averaging seven on the year. Ranking quiet in the second half. Padera tries to leave it for Chris Gibbs, a little too hot to handle. You know, we talked about Hoggard offensively, and you got to give credit to Hanover's defense. I thought they've sent some good athletic bodies, different matchups at Rankin. I thought they've really won those battles, whereas Hoggard usually gets penetration and easy scores. You don't do it with quick guards on you all night. you got to do something else. Yeah, just just nothing, no sink on the, the Hoggard offensive end, and that's to credit it to. Yeah, I mean, look at it. You've got, you got D. Barnett. He's winning that defensive matchup. You've got Stanley winning his. You've got Jones winning his. You really hadn't got the ball down low in a post and established that at all tonight. There's really been no answer. Yeah, that's one of the few forced turnovers right there for <laughs> the Wildcats this evening. Ranking for three. Brady Rankin comes alive. He's got 19. That's his first basket since the second quarter. See if Hogger can start a run. Deep Barnett comes out of his shoes, still battling. And actually, it was Gibbs' shoe. And Deffenball picks up the garbage and gets himself his 15th point. Deffenbach seems to be a crowd favorite out here, Don. Him being that third player to step up, it's really created an energy tonight for uh, Hanover. Scotty D's definitely in the place to be tonight. Coach Queen calls a T.O. Got a 24 point lead with 5.37 to go from Brogdon Hall. Full timeout. Coach Queen's not happy. Tough environment here, Brogdon Hall. The student, this is a good student. Uh, crowd getting pushed up here because people want to see the Wildcats get that regular season championship. I believe that Mid Mid-Eastern Conference Tournament will start on Monday. That'll be at uh, Brunswick Community College, is that right again? Correct, Brunswick Community College and Looks like Hanover will have the one seed. And then this also solidifies their, uh, their, their seeding in the 3A playoffs, state playoffs. They should come out somewhere close to a one or a two in overall in the, in, in the eastern side of the bracket. Have what, Hanover being the one, three. West will get that two, three seed, right? 3A seed. Yeah. You'll have Hoggard getting the one for the 4A, and Laney behind him is the two, right? Correct. That should be it. Let's see if we can see what, it, what Laney's doing against Ashley. Well, and, you know, it. different now in the conference tournament, you won't have that one seed getting to buy anymore. No. I'm not sure if there's anybody still over there at, at Laney with scores. Great Rankin drives the left hand finish. Rankin with 21. Stanley quiet, second half. D. Barnett to Stanley. 
And, and Stanley's off, run down by Jones. Deffen ball. Ball saved off of Barnett. Hedera does a good job making that and keeping it Hoggard basketball. Five minutes to go here, 55-33 Hanover. Hedera trying to create from the elbow, turn around. Good rebound by Jacob Fisher, put back off the glass. Fisher with five. Barnett, the driver, driver double. Good patience, nice. good spin. Nice spin move. AD driver. Great move. What I was just saying about him, just establishes, catches, and doesn't dribble, gets his footwork set, makes a good and hard move to the basket. Great job by a sophomore. They're off. Lamport battles with Barnett. And ball's going to stay down here. Foul's going to go on Barnett. Actually, no, it's going to go on Jones. Blanks checking back in. He does have four fouls. Franken off a of double pick. Back arm poured by J.J. Jones. Halfway gone and the reach, Brady Rankin. And the ball will be on the side for the Wildcats. I think you'll see Hanover go about another minute or so here and look to clear their, clear their bench out. Run some clock, be patient. Get it back out. There you go. Be patient. Just get a look you want. Hey, there's no need to hurry. No, not at all. And they have the one-point guard who can back it out and give you patience in D. Barnett. And he drags the pivot foot <clears throat> on the double. Hogger players want the tee on Jones with the flush after the whistle. Massey checks in for Lamport. Really a hard task starting the fourth for Hoggard because you know you got to go up tempo and that's Hanover style. So yeah. it's really hard to come back on him. You got to get some shots in this last 320. That's Brady Rankin with 24 now. Yeah, half court basketball, I would go and do it right now. Stanley for three. Can't get the roll. Imagine we're going to try to get Rankin open again. Inside the Massey, good catch and shoot. Jackson Massey with just four points. Hanover taking a little air out of the ball. Stanley with the leaner. If I'm Kirk Angel, I'm getting Stanley and a few of my kids out of this game right now so I don't get somebody hurt before the conference tournament. Good leave by Deffenball for Makai Stanley to get him 20 and his first points in the second half. Up 19, two minutes to go. He's going with it. No way I'm keeping Barnett and Stanley in the game too much longer. There he goes. He, he's going to clear the bench. There you go. Fisher knocks it home. Look for them to get a good standing ovation here in a minute when they clear it out. Fisher with eight. Barnett gets around the corner, stolen, and he reaches. 
And that ball will join us up here on the stage. And Hanover comes with subs, Aldrich, Jenright, Williams, Waddell. And I'm not sure of who 25 is. I don't have a 25 on my roster. That's not uh, Gerard Vaughn. ball. Hanover Faithful let them hear about it. 117 to go. Aldridge thinks about the three. Tries to get the step through inside to Genright. Genright underneath. He's fouled. And Khalil Genright Sophomore shooting only 42%. Jen Wright, you know, he's filled in pretty well. He played some good defense earlier. Yeah, another good little athlete they bring off the bench. High energy kid. Do a lot of positive things for you. And he has one shot remaining. That second one that went in was not a, a shot. All right, Webb. It's going to be tough here. Who are we picking for this player of the game? You know, I, you could go a couple ways, Don. Uh, Stanley Early was huge, obviously, coming out and just establishing himself in this game. To me, I thought D. Barnett was huge key offensively, just constantly getting him going, setting the tempo. I thought defensively he guarded Rankin most of the game and did an outstanding job. You could go him. What do you have uh, D. Barnett at scoring I D. D. Barnett with 14 points. What's Stanley and, at? And plenty of dimes. And Stanley's got 20. To me, all around, I like D. Barnett, but you can't argue with Stanley because he really came out and was a star among stars early in this game, having 18 in the first half. And really, and really built that 20-point lead they had at halftime, you know? My executive decision is we go D. Barnett and Makai Stanley, co-players of the game, and, and then honorable mention, Scotty uh, D. You could throw him in. He was Scotty a crowd D. favorite. He was an X Factor. He was that third kid that came up big, and, and Hoggard had no answer for it. Yeah, Scotty D finishes with 15. Makai Stanley finishes with 20. D Barnett finishes with 14. And the Wildcats get the Mid Eastern Conference title 59 to 46. And you know, not to not to take anything away, Brady Rankin with 24 kept Hoggard in the ball game. Cameron Blanks only scored his first basket there in the, within the last minute. Jackson Massey with only four points. Jacob Fisher coming off the bench with 10. You now uh, the Wildcats dominate this game from start to finish. You just yeah do dominated start to finish. Frustrating night from Hoggard all around. Hopefully they'll regroup, be strong next week for a strong finish in the conference tournament. They've been a good team all year, just had a rough, frustrating night tonight. And we've seen it before, regular season champs got to defend and, and get through that tournament, which isn't an easy one. It's three ball games in, in about five days. And the Wildcats celebrating. And we appreciate you watching here on New Hanover County Schools Television, High School Hoops. This will be our last broadcast for the 2020 season where the Wildcats walk away with the Mid-Eastern Conference title here at Gaddison Court at Brogdon Hall just off Market Street in downtown Wilmington, New Wilmington, North Carolina and New Hanover High School. Webb, appreciate you joining me again this season. And yeah, uh, been a fun year. Been a fun year always. Love being in a high school gym. Love seeing kids compete. Had a lot of fun with it, Don. And I like keeping you in, in, in the game yourself after you step down and taking care of your kids. And uh, tomorrow we get, get, get to do a Friday and try to get through a Valentine's Day and get to the weekend. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks for watching, folks. Tonight's broadcast is made possible with the support of Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza. For Webb Guthrie, I'm Don Osterbo. Have a good night. Good night.